Hello everyone, Dr. Jeff Berger here with yet another video. This one is a continuation of a video I made previously. Now if you have not seen that video, you'll want to watch that first because you'll get much more out of this video if you watch that one first. So how do you find it? Go to youtube.com. In the search, type in Round Rock Chiropractor Disc Bulge. I should be the first one to come up. If you can't find it that way, fire me off an email. I promise I will get you a link to that video. All right, with that said, let's get busy. All right, now if somebody walks into my office and they have an impressions page of an MRI that was done to them previously. All right, so what is this impressions page? The impression page is simply the written notes of the guy or the person who read the x-rays. Now these are very talented people and they write these in a way that doctors will be able to read them around the world. Now they are a little bit weird people because they sit in the dark all day, but they are highly intelligent and we respect their work greatly. So I don't need to see copies of the actual MRI. I just need the impressions page. Your doctor will, will fax it to me, email it to me, whatever, at no charge. It's very, very common and simple. You just ask for an impressions page and they will know what I'm talking about. All right, so if you went for your MRI for low back pain, the impressions page is going to tell me what they think is causing the pain that you're having. And they're going to classify a disc bulge in four different ways. The first way is, of course, just a, a bulge. It'll say bulge. The second way is going to be through a word called a protrusion. The next one is an extrusion. And finally, the sequestrum. With that information, I can judge where you're at and how much care that you're probably going to need. Now, I want to show you how that works. And I'm going to use some very simple animations to show you how this works. So let's go back to the first one. The first one was a disc bulge. And if you remember from the previous video, this is a picture of your low back. Well, actually, of two vertebrae in your low back as you're looking from the side like this. Now, this next animation that I'm going to add is just like you were cut in half and looking straight down. And as you can see on the video, uh, this would be like you're laying face down as well. So, I want to show you what a normal disc looks like. That's in the red. And then I'm going to show you how it bulges. All right. So, once we can get that imbibition starting to happen, where the vertebrae are pulled apart, that red part, that disc, will actually be sucked back in. Now, with a disc bulge, I'm not sure exactly how much care you're going to need but I can make an educated guess, probably 10 to 16 visits. All right, so let's go to the next level. On the MRI, it's gonna say, the person has a posterior lateral or some other term that's gonna define which way the disc is bulging. And if the word is a posterior lateral disc bulge or posterior lateral disc protrusion, it's gonna look more like this. Here and you can see it's just a continuation a little bit longer. So from this, once we get the imbibition started, we can suck that disc back in. Once that gets sucked back in, it gets away from that nerve and you are pain free. Now somebody with a protrusion, again, just educated guesses about how much care you're going to need. Probably 16 to 18 visits to get the disc protrusion sucked back in where you're not having any pain. On to the next one, the extrusion. Same thing. Once we get this going, we can start sucking that back in. A disc extrusion is much harder and it's a little more complicated. And my guess for a disc extrusion, 18 to 24 visits, somewhere around that neighborhood. All right, so let's do the last one. Now, as you can see on the last one, the disc is actually separated. And as, as we pull this apart and suck this in, you notice that other piece of the disc doesn't move with it. So if you have an MRI impressions page that says you have a sequestrum, I smile at you and tell you, I can't help you. This has gone too far. You're going to have to have surgery. If you're my mother, my brother, my sister, my kids, my wife, that is a surgical option. Well, I hope this video has helped a little bit understanding what we do as a chiropractor to get these discs back going and what our limits are and what we cannot do. All right, please 
Find me on Facebook, ask me any questions. You can find me my name. I'm gonna put it right here for you to see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got a lot of value out of this video. You have a great day. Ask me any questions.